I have the pleasure now of being joined by Sally Schwartz, who is the president of the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging. Thank you for being here. What a great meeting so far. Thank you. It's Talk to me enjoyable. <laughs> a little bit about the focus of the society right now. One word would be value. Essentially what we're trying to do is um, take our organization and think about it in terms of value and that's to any number of areas to essentially our society to other societies to other groups in radiology and to our patients to our you know our uh, referring physicians so we're, we're trying to again we know we are valuable but we need to show people what that value is and that includes our regulators as well you know we we offer a service that is um, not like anyone else's. And it's, it's a real value to, to the field. And when you talk about that word value, you have yes. this new strategic initiative, this value initiative. That's Can correct. you outline value that? Value initiative. Yes, we have actually five domains. And the first um, is the quality of our practice. Quality of practice is looking at our practice, uh, appropriate use criteria, which is being required by our regulators uh, in terms of ordering diagnostic imaging tests. And also, um, we have guidelines that are written again, and that it's it's setting the tone for the the practice, you know, as far as the quality that we deliver. And also, then research and development—that's another area of quality. So, what we are trying to do is work cooperatively with our industry partners, and and essentially work together on research and development. So, this is, um, I think, a very exciting time in that regard. Also, our workforce pipeline and our education, lifetime education. Our workforce pipeline is including how we you know, bring new people into this field. Um, we're trying to think about presenting nuclear medicine to them at an early age in their educational career, taking it to medical school, you know, and again, bringing it forward so that they're aware of the possibilities of nuclear medicine. Uh, sometimes, um, the way it is today, they are not often presented with nuclear medicine until they begin residencies. And really that's too late. You know, we need to encourage and incite their interest, you know, and I think it's a very important step. We are recruiting new people, and that's actually in our scientists, and in our pharmacists, and our technologists. And a meeting like this, bringing some of these great minds together from all over the world, yes. really helps yes. to put forth that tremendous information. Absolutely, and advocacy is another of our domains. We have patient advocates, so again, this is an important piece. People who have benefited from what we do the techniques that we have, the new radiotherapeutics that are coming forward. You know, so we have had very success, great success with our patient advocates. You know, they're, they're excited about it and they want to tell other people about it, which again is exactly what we need for the person who's benefited to be able to promote the field. And that's, it's, it's just great. Also our outreach, because again, we, we are dependent on referring physicians bringing our patients to us, you know, because again, um, there are numerous referring physicians. And so what we do is we take nuclear medicine out to the community and introduce our processes to these referring physicians and show them what we can do. We have a very extensive program we have and we're continuing to grow that program. But it really, the advocacy of our, our patient advocates and the outreach, you know, for, to our referring physicians um, it's, it's really an um, exciting way to demonstrate what we can do and improve others' lives because they see what we can do for them, you know, how we can help these various patients. Well, so. that education is critical and it is an exciting time. It Thank is. you so much. Thank you so much.